And welcome back everyone. 19 now 20 minutes after five o'clock. This is what it looks like at Lookout Pass. Good uh, driving conditions. Uh, temperatures in the low 40s in Spokane and Coeur d'Alene 39 in Sandpoint. Colder out towards Moses Lake right now where it's 35 degrees. Good driving conditions also at Snoqualmie Pass. No snow or ice on the road. The roadway is mostly dry. So either direction across I-90 in the higher elevations right now looks good. Uh, satellite radar picture shows high pressure system is sunk to the south of us, so we're seeing some of that cloud cover spilling over the ridge of high pressure, and we're actually going to see a weak disturbance move through the area tomorrow morning around 4 a.m. Here, I'll run this on the future tracker computer model for you, and there it is right there. 430 looks like southeastern Washington, including Pullman, could get some rain, not snow, rain uh, down there, and then that's a quick moving system, and then a lot of the cloud cover will just begin to clear out through the remainder of the day. That's why we're forecasting partly cloudy skies uh, on your Wednesday. Temperature wise, uh, cooler out in central Washington than some of the temperatures here in eastern Washington. 39 in Grand Coulee, 42 in Ephrata, 38 in Davenport, 38 expected in Deer Park. We should climb up to about 43 in Spokane after a morning low of 30. St. John up to 46. St. Mary's will see a daytime high of 45. I've got temperatures hitting 51 down in the Lewiston and Clarkston area. Colville down to 27 tonight and then a daytime high of 39 degrees. And for generally speaking, we'll look for mostly to partly cloudy skies and dry conditions except for that, uh, those early morning showers in southeastern Washington around 4, 4.30 uh, in the morning. Seven day outlook calling for mostly cloudy skies on Thursday. Partly cloudy skies returning Friday. Look at the weekend right now. Highs in the mid 40s and then next week a chance of some valley, scattered valley rain showers and a little mountain snow. Again, daytime highs in the 40s. We're back with more news right after this break.